In this video, we're going to show you how to use invisible logic to create a complex calculation that I can use elsewhere. For example, let's say we have a list of income and expenses on the first page of our workflow. As you can see, I've already set up some variables and questions for salary, side earnings, food expenses, and rent. And you might have a lot more expenses and income that you might add on on a page like this. Now, what I want to do is I want to create a net income variable because I want to know my income minus all my expenses, and I want to be able to use that in multiple different locations in my workflow. So it makes it a lot easier if instead of having to put that full lengthy calculation in multiple spots, I can just insert it into one variable and re keep reusing that variable. So what I'll do is I'll add a page here. As you can see down here, we'll go to the advanced function and add invisible logic. And because it's invisible, as the name suggests, the question will not be shown on the screen when I actually run my workflow. It's just some calculations that are being done in the background. So the first thing that we need to do is create a new variable for that net income variable. I want a number variable and I'm going to name it net income. Now I'm going to give net income a value. So I'm going to say net income is equal to, and I have a bunch of options here as to whether I want to make it equal to a variable, a specific number that I enter, and then operators here. So I'll say I want net income to equal salary, add that into the box plus, plus side earnings, minus food expenses, and minus rent. So we have a super simple calculation here, and now we can reuse this net income variable anywhere. And on page three, I actually have my net income variable being displayed. So I will go ahead and run this workflow. And as you can see, it gives me a summary that my net income is negative 80,000 because of the variables and the values that I gave on the prior page. We can also format all of these numbers so that they have commas or decimal points if we want them to.